A debate was held in Parliament today about an attempt made by UN Special Rapporteur to meet judges in the country. I inquired into the arrangements made for UN Special Rapporteur Clement Nialit Sosivul to meet the Chief Justice and High Court judges. I am on the stance that arrangements should not have been done to arrange a meeting based on a request made by the UN Special Rapporteur. After informing the Minister of Justice and Secretary to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, I have instructed them to take the required action. Therefore, I said that the meeting with the High Court judges was not held. Based on your instructions, we have approved the appointment of the Secretary to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as someone responsible. He has now admitted that he got involved in this. We were able to present a copy of the action taken by the additional Secretary based on the instructions passed by the Secretary to the Ministry. What is important is that Secretary to the Ministry is transferred to another department or grant us the opportunity to bring a proposal to conduct an investigation against the Secretary according to the Constitution. These are not national policies. These are stubborn actions taken by these officials. You have acted upon containing such behaviours, but the Parliament should ensure that this type of behaviour will not be repeated. We respectfully remind the United Nations that we have to safeguard freedom of justice and ensure rule of law. Some time ago, Sri Lankan judges were taken to America for a training. According to what we heard from one of those judges, inquiries were made about the special high court as well. One of the judges have recorded it. So we tell America that we should respect our rule of law. This cannot be done without the approval of the former Attorney General. I request you to appoint a select committee in Parliament and inquire from the relevant authorities to take necessary action. A statement about a recording of charges was made in the chambers today. I humbly make a request. If you have any information in this regard, please reveal it to us. We will then do the needful. Since there have been similar instances before, it is important that we look into this to safeguard the independence of the judiciary. I also think it is important that a special statement is made by the Minister of Justice. I responsibly state that none of those judges met with the special rapporteur. The Ministry of Justice and Foreign Affairs have been informed. I will ensure that this will not reoccur. I will present the proposal to the Minister of Foreign Affairs and discuss about the select committee during the party leaders' meeting. UN Special Rapporteur on Rights to Freedom of Peaceful Assembly and of Association, Clement Nyalit Sosi Wool, arrived in Sri Lanka last week. The judiciary is an apex body and a pillar of democracy. What authority does the UN Special Rapporteur have to summon judges of the independent judiciary? What is the requirement to do so? Wouldn't such actions result in the image of the United Nations to deteriorate? News First is continuing to report on large-scale corruption such as the Blue Mountain property scam and the U.S. agreements such as AXA and SOFA. There are many more information regarding these that will be reported before the people. Sri Lanka does not have binding agreements with the United Nations that would allow professionals to be summoned before U.N. Special Rapporteurs. However, U.N. Special Rapporteurs arrive in this country and summon and meet various people and hold discussions. On the contrary, SOFA and AXA are U.S. agreements. If the U.N. can act in this manner without binding agreements, what would happen if or when the U.S. agreements are signed? Isn't it not clear as to who will hold the power? If similar actions were carried out in India or Pakistan, they would have to face the full wrath of the law in those nations.